This is a tin of 12 Faber-Castell watercolour pencils, artist grade fine pigment. Now I just want to compare this with the other tin of standard Faber-Castell artist pencils. Now in the watercolour, each tin comes with a booklet. That's the range in the a range of 12 in the watercolour. Now when we look at the standard pencil, again you get a little booklet in there. What's the difference between them and them? Well they're indexed across, so if you use watercolour and you want to use pencils on top once they're dry, that's fine. They're identical colours. Now if you look at a physical pencil and see what the difference is, if we take the yellow for example, that's in the watercolour, that's in the standard colour. The difference physically in the pencils is this is a rounded shaft, okay, rounded all the way down, and this one has got sides to it. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, it's not an octagon, so I think it's got six sides, which you can see looking down. And detail on the pencils, you've got both virtually the same there. It says made in Germany. That says Polychromos for the pencil. And that says Alberg Dura for the watercolour. Now if you turn them round, they've both got the same name for the colour. Okay, cadmium yellow, and that's a different code there for the pencil as opposed to that one for the watercolour. Now a range of 12 will be limited, and so you would have to use your colour theory. But again, I feel that you need more than 12. You need two each of the primary colours, two yellows, two reds and two blues, a warm colour and a, a cool colour. Uh, and even if you've got this, for example, I've got the full range that I got this morning of the watercolour pencil range, 120 colours. Now if you put those round a colour wheel, even that won't give you all the colours you need, because quite simply you may need lighter variations of each of these colours, or you may need a different chroma. Now a different chroma means uh, greyer as it goes towards the centre of the circle when you're adding each colour to its complementary across the circle. So it's an infinite uh, amount of colours. But this is a beautiful range of 120 in that anyway that will give you, you know, a sufficient number of colours that you need for most uh, paintings.